Right. Good morning. We are here in beautiful Bermuda. We're gonna go explore the island and show you what it has to offer. this morning painfully slow very long line super island time like I it's just they were all very nice but painfully slow all right here we are with this vehicle which we have rented from oleander cycle now we're somewhat veterans here in Bermuda and we've rented vehicles from them in the past we've always had really great results but always with the scooters we decided to rent this thing on their recommendation. Right in Bermuda, on the phone doing insurance business. It's beautiful. This is vacation modern style. Here we are, we made it to St. George's in those little cars. Some of us barely made it. Yes, we had Elizabeth in the back of my car. So it is definitely, if you have three people, she is smaller, like not, Myself or Doug would not fit in the back of those little cars. Um, it's a tight squeeze if you want to have two people in the car. But we did make it and you also have to be aware that they go kind of slow so it took us an hour to get from the dockyard to St. George's. And I'm going to do a full tech review of these little cars because <laughs> there's a lot you need to know about them if you're going to rent one. Yeah. Look at these floors, they're so cool. Ready for lunch? I am ready. I was ready for air conditioning until we walked in and there was no air conditioning. Yes. I was ready, more ready for that. Some ducks partying on the jet ski. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Looks good. So we finished our lunch here at the White Horse. It was actually very good food. Um, I think your sizzling, the, yeah, the sizzling tiger shrimp were very good. And um, we have actually poutine here, a Canadian favorite. They have conch fritters, so some local favorites, but the food was all, food was good all the way around. We are at Temptations. We had an amazing ice cream. So if you're in St. George's, definitely a place to check out on these hot days of Bermuda. This message is being interrupted. What she's missing is this place is great because not only does it have delicious ice cream, but it has air conditioning. So we're just going to do one because Fantasy Cave is 100% humidity 
and the humidity outside is already feeling like 100%, so I think we don't need to be underground with no air circulation. We got some air circulation here. Oh really? Have you ever had this summer? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Crystal Caves. It is super cool. Worth venturing down. Um, and it is 72 degrees down here. It's nice. So very nice on a hot humid day. Good escape. Beautiful. We're gonna Whoa, walk. Whoa, they just turned on the lights. They want us down there. <laughs> We're gonna walk over the water. That's amazing, those are huge. We call them icebergs because they look like icebergs. They do look like icebergs. And this water is amazing. So beautiful. Mommy. All right, here we are, it's Doug no Nikki yet at Tobacco Bay in Bermuda, which is beautiful. Been wandering around all day. Here's a little what it looks like. I see a beautiful Nikki making her way to me. But uh, in case you're looking for a cool place to stop and uh, cool off in the afternoon, this is a good one. Here I am alone again. Oh, there she is. It is Nikki. We are at Tobacco Bay in Bermuda, which is beautiful with snorkels and the beautiful Miss Elizabeth here taking a break in the afternoon just to uh, do a little snorkeling, get wet and cool off because it is hot. And you should check out these rock formations, they're super cool. Yeah, I'm gonna, you'll probably see a video of me jumping off one of them like as if it's like a little clip later. Yeah? <laughs> I see some jumping going on. They're going higher. Oh, Instagram shoot at the top for Elizabeth. <laughs> so Doug and Elizabeth have decided to climb up there. Well, I continue to swim. Right there. Oh, there they are. Boom, boom. Oh, squish them. Ah, ah. Squish them like bugs. Two, 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 squish, squish. Coming to you from Bermuda, where she doesn't travel in hazardous areas, but I needed to try this out. Get up here on this cliff, do a cool uh, cliff jump. Now I'm not allowed to do cliff jumps, but there she is, snorkeling and swimming. Driving the pizza jump. Yeah. Now, uh, smells like funnel cake or some sort of baked dough, fried dough thing. See how well tuned my nose is? Here we are at Harbor Fest in Hamilton, Bermuda, which is a uh, festival before their national holiday, which we should know. I think you'll put words like here as to what it is. <laughs> the festival's pretty nice. We will say if you're going to come to Bermuda, it's kind of a pain in the neck time to travel here because a lot of stuff is closed. On and, Thursday and Friday. Yeah, and traffic is supposed to be nuts. 
we had a great day today. Everything's open and we have some good hints for tomorrow, which will include those as well. Uh, but yeah, so this is Harbor Fast. And this is the look after uh, tobacco bed. She always looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's go enjoy let's go. Harbor Fest. Funnel Cake's calling me. So we just arrived at Orleander's with our things which have been dead most of the day. Um, and they said we could charge them up here at night. Because the cruise ship is right across there. Right. And there are... No spaces no available. Space is available. No spaces available. Please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, click that little bell so you get notifications, and feel free to comment. Let us know what you like, what you want to see more of. We want to hear everything you have to say. We'll see you next time.